Dua Arafa by Hazrat Hussein. In the midst of the sacred plains of Arafa, where the air is filled with the reverent whispers of millions, lies a profound supplication that echoes through time and hearts alike, Dua Arafa. Attributed to Hazrat Hussein ibn Ali, this heartfelt prayer is more than mere words. It is a soul-stirring testament to the boundless mercy and omnipotence of Allah. As pilgrims stand in humble submission, their voices merge in a unified cry, capturing the essence of devotion, gratitude, and the eternal quest for divine guidance. With each verse, Dua Arafa invites believers to transcend the temporal, reaching into the depths of their faith and forging a connection with the Creator that is as timeless as the pilgrimage itself. Certainly, Dua Arafa, also known as Dua Arafa, is a supplication attributed to Imam Hussein, Hussein ibn Ali, particularly recited on the day of Arafah during the Hajj pilgrimage. It is a profound prayer that expresses deep spirituality, humility, and devotion to God. Below is a translation of the complete Dua Arafah according to Shia belief from Hazrat Hussein. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praise belongs to Allah, whose decree none may avert, and whose gift none may prevent. No fashioner's fashioning is like his fashioning, and he is the generous, the all-embracing. He brought forth the variety of unprecedented creatures and perfected through his wisdom all created things. He is the omnipotent over what he wills, and he is the first without a before and the last without an after. The vision of the onlookers is bewildered by him, and the ideas of those who describe him are restricted by him. The ears of those who claim about him fall short of his limit, and the minds of those who conceive him are unable to comprehend him. He separated the creatures through his power and spread the winds with his mercy. Glory be to you! How great is what they see of your creation and how small is everything else in comparison to your power! Glory be to you, how high are you, and how great is what they see of your creation, and how small is everything else in comparison to your power. Glory be to you, you are the highest and the most great, and you have decreed death and life. You are the one who extends a helping hand to the supplicants, and you are the bestower of gifts to the seekers. O Allah, to you belongs all praise, for you have created me when I was nothing mentioned. You favored me with your guidance and developed me with your bounty. You guided me to your religion and selected me for your mercy. You directed me to your love and instilled in me the taste for your knowledge. O oh Allah, from you comes the good, and to you belongs the praise. You covered me with your concealment, and you held me back from any exposure. You secured me with your defense and surrounded me with your assistance. You guided me in my aim and aided me in my journey. O oh Allah, my seeking of your help should not turn into lack of hope in your kindness, nor should my longing exceed your generosity, for you have surrounded all matters with your decree, and your knowledge has encompassed everything. The lower world and the hereafter are in your grasp, and whatever they contain is within your reach. O oh Allah, I approach you with your love, and I plead with you in your name. You have bestowed upon me the gift of your love, and you have provided for me abundantly through your grace. You have made me content with what you have apportioned to me, and you have enriched me with your provision. O oh Allah, you are my goal, my reliance, and my trust. To you belongs all praise for your generous favor and to you is my complaint about the misery of my calamity. You have done well by taking care of me, and you have favored me greatly. O oh Allah, I cannot count your praises, nor do I know how to enumerate your bounties, for your favors are numerous, and your generosity is great, your power is immense, and your mercy is vast. O oh Allah, I am your servant and the son of your servant. I stand before you with humility and supplication. I ask you with your name, which has filled the pillars of your throne, and with your knowledge, which has encompassed everything, and with your mercy, 
which has encompassed everything. O Allah, you are the everlasting, you are the generous, you are the great, you are the beneficent, you are the merciful. I ask you by your majesty and your light to grant me what you have promised me and to complete for me your favors, to remove from me the afflictions and to suffice me from the evil of what I fear. O Allah, do not let me rely on myself nor on anyone else, but rely on you and your mercy, for you are the most merciful of the merciful. As the sun sets on the sacred plains of Arafah, the whispers of Dua Arafah resonate within the hearts of the faithful, leaving an indelible mark on their souls. With tear-filled eyes and hearts overflowing with humility, pilgrims find solace in the words of Hazrat Hussein, whose unwavering devotion and sacrifice epitomize the ultimate submission to Allah. In these moments of profound reflection, believers are reminded of the transient nature of life and the eternal presence of divine mercy. The prayer's echoes intertwine with the setting sun, symbolizing hope, redemption, and an unbreakable bond with the Almighty. As they depart from Arafah, each step is a testament to their renewed faith, their spirits lifted by the enduring power of this sacred supplication, carrying the light of divine love and guidance into the journey ahead.